What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're going to be talking about this week's event, when it feels like you can't do anything to try to further progress your account, because, well, if you're not doing Heroic Trolls on a Heroic Troll week, it's literally a nothing burger week, you're not going to get any rewards, you're not going to do anything, except maybe this, we've gone over this before, but there are some newer players or players that might have just completely missed it, with all the videos we put out, this is a great way to try to get some progression on your account, even if you're not participating in the main part of this event, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one, let's jump right into it. <laughs> So one thing about this event is is interesting. We might have already done this and made your snake. I've been actually just kind of AFKing on our free-to-play account pretty much lately. One thing I forgot to do was pick our prey hero this week. And uh well, we've been missing out on 150 gems for the past two days, which feels pretty bad. But we can rectify that and do something better because one really cool thing about this event is the hero lottery. Whichever hero you pick in this slot will give you four star sets of gear that's pretty cool considering even on our main account as you saw the other day uh we are kind of struggling when it comes to having enough gear to do what we need to do eventually you are going to need the additional gear um a lot of it comes in the form of disassembling equipment i mean if you do all 65 of these that's a lot uh but if you don't do that, it's not very much. So it really depends on what you're doing, especially if you've already unlocked the extra resonance suits, the upgraded ones, because those do cost these soul resonance crystals to upgrade them. So one way you can actually try to farm this up in the meantime and actually get some progression this week is what you need to do is you need to pick the hero that you have the most copies in the bag of. Uh, so if we go through here and we look, it's like, okay, we got we got six copies of Azrael. That's pretty cool. Uh, do we have like a huge amount of any old tier hero? No, we do not. We've got about four of you. We got five Vesses, it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like that might be the go-to because you can't pick non-elite heroes is the other thing. When you talk about this prey, it has to be an elite hero. So it doesn't give you the option to summon the non-elite heroes. And beyond that, you're not going to want to summon for them anyway. What I do suggest, though, is actually if you do have a ton of these regular shards saved up, like a ton of them, and you plan on pulling them out to do fusions and stuff, one thing you can do is make sure you pick someone that's on this list as well because there's chances to get additional copies. Same here. If you got a bunch of these here, that can also help out as well. So I think for us, as far as progress goes, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the Azrael copies. Now, we are going to have to make bag space for this as well which kind of sucks because we really don't have any space whatsoever on this account. Oh, the amount of mismanagement this account has gone through is ridiculous. Uh, can't do any fusions, right? Well, lean <laughs> dark six stars. That doesn't sound like something I want to do right now. Although we will need to make light and dark six stars eventually to feed off for the next like soul awakening gala. So I think we'll do this. We'll do this here. Um, oof. Uh, I guess what we can do, is just, we'll just make a light star spawn. It doesn't feel as bad making it a light star spawn. We'll go one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, that should give us a little bit of backspace. And what I'll basically be doing with this is I'll use it to, like, you know, summon out three stars. We do have quite a few three stars. I think we even have to do fusions for the month as well. Maybe. Yeah, we got to do all the fusions, get these big rewards, keep saving gems up. But now that we have the bag space, here's what we're going to do. What we need to do is come into here and we need to first make sure we pick the correct hero, which for us is going to be Azrael. So we're picking him as our upright hero. Now we can do the smash for all of our dailies and everything if it hadn't already done it properly already. We now do our advanced summon, which gives us those additional gems, all that fun stuff. Yay. Now, the next thing we need to do is come over to our bag, grab the Azrael copies, and summon all six of them out. Now, what this is going to do is give us six sets of orange gear, and that is pretty cool. I like that. I actually don't know if I have a screenshot of the orange gear just yet, so I'm going to grab it. So we're going to claim all of these out, and that is a nice little boost to our account. For us not doing absolutely anything whatsoever this week, we at least get something. And hey, if we hit an Azrael copy with like our daily summons we're doing just for our daily quests, cool. If not, I mean, it is what it is. So that is something you can do. Uh, make sure you have the bag space and everything. The other thing is, you know, we got 
Actually, we have a lot of five-star heroes on this account. We actually kind of lag four stars. I mean, I might need to do some targeted four-star summoning to try to make some room up here because our free-to-play account is starting to struggle on bag space. That is a huge yup. Uh, but once we get some of these summoned out and we get some fusions going, it becomes a little easier. So then we can just do bulk three-star summon outs and then we're kind of good to go and what we're also going to get from doing our month leads during this event too is at the very least we're going to get where are they 40 points down here for heroes this includes summoning circle creation circle compass of the transcendent and summoning shards out uh what are these 40 going to get you well <laughs> kind of nothing uh you're not going to have a chance there and i think it'll give you like one five star hero because every 25 heroes pulled out gets you that so i guess the next question will be in talking about is it worth using some scrolls to get this right here because of course we're not spending on this account definitely don't want to do soul awakenings this week either because soul awakenings should only be non on galas for you get to get those essence sublimation chests. so it's interesting because really i mean if you're a light spender what i would say is just do these 40 points and then spend like 20 bucks and by spending 20 bucks even on here because you can do like just these right here get some heroic scrolls, some cores, actually get this one for free too. Uh, that's probably the best play. Spend these 20 bucks here, and then you can get uh, one of these Cloud Island chests, which is pretty good. Or if you need it, a skin, because technically if you're, if the level of the place you're putting a skin on is already a very high level, this skin for five levels is worth so much more than what these resources can actually grant. Definitely consider that. That's something, that's something definitely to consider, but... um. Yeah, beyond that, I don't think there's much progression that you guys can make this week besides doing what we talked about. But hey, it's a pretty cool strategy. And then on top of that, what we're going to do on our free-to-play account is we need to do all of our fusions. So now that we've made a little bit of space here, we can just grab a bunch of three stars out of the bag. And we should be good to fuse for a while here. This is going to give us the progression on the account we need um ooh, this is this is kind of this is where it gets a little sketchy because you get to the point where like some factions have three stars and no four stars while the other ones have the flip of it uh what you probably want to do is if you do have some four star shards that have been sitting you might want to go ahead and summon those out now when you do have the three stars and try to even out all the factions with what they have as far as three star goes and four stars go uh, you want to try to at least have four of everything but like here we can summon out eight here and not be a problem uh it's tedious nowadays to make sure you get the food but honestly even on an account like this we don't really need food i mean we even have like puppets kind of just chilling we got a level 250 puppet just for our void campaign all that so as far as progression goes when you get to this middle stage of game because you build one powerful hero and you don't build wide in idle heroes anymore it might feel like you don't have much to do but try to get any type of progression you can when you can get it and i'll see you guys next time